This technique is called twirling wings. It's uh, for a two-hand choke from behind. Uh, the, the opponent could be choking you or could be choking and pulling you towards him at the same time. Now the first move on this, front feet together, we're going to step back with the left leg. We're going to drop back into a right forward one. Now we're facing uh, 10 o'clock. As we step back, trying to buckle inside his knee, going towards 5 o'clock. From here, the left hand is going to do a vertical outward as your right hand is going to do an elbow strike. Now I'm going to take it from this angle, where as I step back, as I check with the left hand and turn around and do an elbow strike, right inward elbow. Now my left hand is going to clear his arms out of the way, and then the right elbow is going to strike. Now what you want to do with these elbow strikes is going to be in a figure eight type of motion. Okay, so you check with the left, strike with the elbow, right elbow, then your right hand is going to come up to check, and then you're going to strike with the left elbow. I'm going to take it from top to choke from behind. I'm going to pull me also. I'm going to step back, clear with the left hand, strike with the right, and check with the right hand, strike with the left. We're going to end up in a left neutral bow facing our opponent. And I'm going to do it from this side. Drop back, check, turn with the elbow, check with the right hand, and left elbow strike. And one more time. I'm going to sink back, check, elbow strike, check, and left elbow strike. Okay, come up, master. Now, let's say uh, we take it from this angle. Okay, choke from behind. That could be a choke and also a pull. So you're going to take me with him, and now I'm going to step back. As I step back, I'm going to shoot that vertical outward, and I'm going to catch him at the elbow or above. Now, right from here, as I start to turn him around, I'm going to strike with this inward elbow strike. Now, I'm going to either catch the ribs or I'm going to catch the kidney, depending on how much I'm going to turn him around. So, one more time. From here, chokes, turn back, elbow strike. Now, from here, the hand's going to come up, check. As it checks, we're going to drop the left elbow strike. Okay, and one more time. I'm going to go one, come up, check, and two. Now, let's take it from this side. Drop back, one. Come up, check, as we go, two. Okay, and try it again. Go one and two. Now, we're going to take this a little bit faster. Okay, let's take it from... Different angle. It's there. It's there. It's there. This technique is called snapping twig. The attack is uh, left push to the center line. Left hand pushing to the center line. Now, we're going to step back with the left leg into a right neutral bow, but we're going to use this drop and the body rotation and this sinking motion as we pin with the left hand, pin his hand with the left, and as we shoot the right heel palm strike. Now, we've got to get the wrists, use the wrists here to strike in also. So now as I start to pin, right from here I'm going to sink and strike and catch the elbow. Now as I snap the elbow, straighten him up. Now that's going to lift him up a little bit on his toes. Now we're going to make the crane and go right on top of his left arm. As we crane and check his arm down, we're going to drop into a right forward bow and we're going to shoot the right hand, outward hand sword to the left side of his neck or to the left collarbone. Now, right from here, from a forward bow, we're going to go back to a neutral bow, and your right hand continues from the crane to come up with a right inward hammer fist across the face. Now, as soon as you strike with the hammer fist, your left hand is going to go around from the right side of his face, and with your right hand, you're going to shoot an elbow and make a sandwich strike here, catching his jaw. Okay, let's take this again. 
We're going to sink back, break the arm. We're going to hook on top, crane on top. As we clear the arm down, we're going to outward hand sort the side of the neck or to the collarbone. Then we're going to come up, hammer fist across the face, and we're going to shuffle as we heel palm to the right side. We're going to left, right inward elbow to the left side of the face and make a sandwich. Okay, we're going to take this from a different angle. Step back, make the elbow break, clear the arm out of the way as we chop side of the neck. We're going to come up with the hammer fist and sandwich there. Okay. One more time. We're going to sink back, make the break, clear the arm out of the way, hammer fist and sandwich. Okay. Come on, Master. Now, I'd like to just go over a little detail here. If you uh, check his arm, when he's starting to uh, make the push, when we step back, as I use my wrist to pin here, I'm going to use the uh, heel palm here. And it's not this type of a strike. We're not striking this angle. We're striking in this angle. So even if I'm not catching his elbow exactly, it's going to be maybe a little bit lower. Then I'm going to slide up. And since I'm traveling this way, sooner or later I catch that elbow to straighten it up and snap it. So when he come at me, I'm going to sink back and snap this way. Now, right from here, I'm going to crane. As I pull him down, I'm going to pull him right into this strike. I'm going to pull him down into that strike. Now, from here, as I crane down, I'm going to come up and hammer fist cross the face. And as I complete my hammer fist cross the face, the heel palm starts to travel from this side as I collapse that elbow strike and make a sandwich here. Okay, we'll take it from this angle again. Step back, make the break, clear down, chop, come up with the hammer fist, cross the face, and clasp the elbow and make a sandwich. Let's take it from the other angle. <clears throat> We're gonna step back, make the break, clear down, chop, hammer fist, and sandwich. And one more time. One, two, three, and four. You know, we're going to pick up a little bit of a speed here. Yes, Take it from the other side. Yes, This technique is called leaping crane. It's for a step through right punch. Now the first move that we're gonna do when the punch is coming from 12 o'clock, we're gonna to leap to 10 o'clock going into a one leg stance. Now you gotta make sure that you're gonna sink when you go to the side. As we step with the left leg to 10 o'clock to go into a one leg stance, at the same time that our left leg starts to sink towards 10 o'clock, the left hand is gonna come up and block. Now this could be a block closed hand or open hand, or it could be a parry type of an action here. So now as we step off with the left to clear outside of the right punch, now right at the same time as the right leg starts to come up into a one leg stance, the right hand, the middle knuckle is gonna strike underneath to the ribs, okay? So we're gonna step with the left, pull the right. Now from this one leg stance, as we go to this stance, we're going to side kick back of his knee, bring it back, and plant with the back knuckle to the kidney. It's going to be his left kidney. So now we'll go to 10 o'clock, sink, go to a one leg stance, kick back of the knee, bring it back, and plant with the back knuckle to the kidney. When you strike to the kidney, it brings his upper body, straighten him up, and then we're going to come up with a sandwich, catch him back of the head, okay? We're going to catch the ear from one side and elbow to the other side of the face. Okay, now I'm going to do it from this angle. We're going to go to the side into a one leg stance, kick back of the knee, back knuckle to the kidney, and elbow sandwich on top. And one more time, hop to the side, one leg stance, kick, 
back knuckle and sandwich. Okay, master, come up, please. Okay, now when he shoots the punch, one thing I want you to do is think about striking from point of origin, meaning you don't want to open up too much. Okay, as you sink to the side, this hand just shoots right up to clear, and at the same time, this hand shoots underneath to catch it. Now, when we go to this position, we're going to kick, bring it back, and step with the back knuckle. And then we're going to slide the elbow sandwich on top. And one more time. So remember, striking from the side, from point of origin. When he punch, come up, two, shoot the back knuckle, then come up with the sandwich. Let's take it from the other side. We're going one. From here, two. Bring it back and shoot the back knuckle to the kidney. Then come up with the sandwich. Catch the head. And one more time. One, two, three, and four. Okay, now we're going to speed up a little bit. Yes, Yes, Okay, I'm going to take it from the other side. Yes, now, one more time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next technique is called swinging pendulum. And uh, we're going to uh, show the, work the uh, universal block in this technique. <coughs> now, we're going to take this technique started from a right fighting stance. This is for a roundhouse kick coming around to strike to the body. Now, it could be roundhouse kick with the back leg, or if it's in a uh, right fighting stance, it could be a drag of roundhouse kick coming to your midsection. Now, from your fighting stance, we're going to take the left leg and go up the circle, and we're going to do a universal strike, universal block here. Now that's a front hand doing an inward, your back hand is doing a downward block. Now right from here as we go off and we catch his leg, the next strike is going to be a hammer fist to the groin. Your hammer fist is going to drop downward here to the groin, but you like to catch him to the groin while his right leg or the kick in the leg is still up in the air. So we're going to go to the side, go up the circle, block the kick, and if you need to, you could put a little shuffle here, pushing off your back leg as you check. You're going to shoot that hammer fist to the groin, and then you're going to go up the circle again with your back leg and use that right obscure elbow to the face. Okay, we're going to take this again from a fighting stance. We're going to step off, catch the kick, shuffle up and strike to the groin, and then go up the circle with the back leg again and shoot the uh, obscure elbow. Now I'm going to take it from a different angle here. From a fighting stance, step up the circle with your left leg, universal block. Do a little shuffle if it's needed, hammer fist to the groin. Then when you make him lean forward, now you're going to go up the circle with the back leg again and elbow. So we're going to do one, two, and three. Okay, master, come up, please. Okay, right leg back, fighting stance. Now I'm going to throw the round has kick. We're going to go up the circle. And hammer fist to the groin, then up the circle again as we shoot the obscure elbow. One more time. I'm going to go one, two, and three. Okay, now let's take it from a different angle here. From a fighting stance, go up the circle, one, and catch him to the groin while his leg is still up in the air. Then we're going to step off, catch him with that obscure elbow. Okay, let's do this one more time from this angle. Going one, two, and three. Now let's speed up a little bit. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Okay, let's take it from the other side. Yes, sir! And try it again. Yes, sir!
Next technique is called crushing hammer. This is for a bear hug from behind, arms pinned. Now, we're going to, uh, the first move, we're going to take the left leg, sink to the side, towards 3 o'clock, or maybe, I'm sorry, towards 9 o'clock, or maybe a little bit even towards 8 o'clock to drop back. Now, when we sink to the side and drop the weight, the left hand is going to come up and check his hands from underneath, and the right hand is going to drop a hammer fist to the groin. Now, from here, we're going to grab the groin, and we're going to get around him with the right leg. We're going to drag it into a cat as we go around him with the heel leading first. Now, from here, we're going to just rip and go up the center line, catch him underneath the chin, as we anchor the elbow, as we reach the chin, going over the shoulder, and we're going to turn and strike with the left heel palm to the midsection. Take it from top. We're going to pin, sink to the side, hammer fist. Then we're going to grab, go around it with the heel. Now we're in a reverse bow, and we're going to sink into the neutral or horse stance as we shoot the elbow right up the center line, and we're going to turn and anchor the elbow. We're going to go with the heel palm to the midsection. Okay, we're going to take it from a different angle. We're going to sink to the side, check, hammer fist, get around him as we grab and strike with the elbow up and heel palm to the midsection. One more time, drop to the side, one, grab, get around, two, elbow strike and heel palm. Come up, master. Okay, bear hug from behind. I'm going to check the hands, sink and hammer fist to the groin. Now I'm gonna grab, as I grab, I'm gonna get around it. I'm gonna rip the center line as I rip up. Work that center line up, and I'm gonna anchor the elbow as I turn, and I'm gonna heel palm him to the midsec midsection on its way down. Okay, let's try this again. So we're gonna sink, strike, grab, get around. Strike up the center line, and heel palm on its way down. Let's try it from different angles. Sink, one, get around, two, elbow, heel palm. And one more time. Pin, sink, get around, elbow up, and heel palm. Now let's do this a uh, little bit faster. Yes! And try it again. Yeah. And we'll take it from a different angle. Yeah. Come up. Yeah. This technique is called captured leaves. It's designed for uh, somebody uh, grabbing your fingers, putting you in a uh, finger lock. Now, I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this technique. One, if your opponent is standing in front of you, or also uh, one is if your opponent is on your side and locking your fingers. Now, we're going to, uh, let's say the opponent is in front of you, grabbing your fingers. You're going to step forward with your right leg. We're going to cross and check inside his right knee as we step forward with the right leg. In this situation now, we're in a right fighting stance facing 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Now, at the same time, my left hand is going to come underneath my right arm and he's going to shoot an open outward hand sword strike to clear his arm. Now, at the same time we're stepping and we're clearing, you want to make sure your right hand is going to shoot up straight also. So we're going to step with the right, clear, shoot the right hand straight up in the air. Now, there's the uh, maximum point that it's going to reach your arm. Now, right when it reaches the maximum point up there, then you're going to turn. Now, you're in a uh, forward bow, left forward bow, 
facing 6 o'clock. Now, right from here, as you turn, you're going to do an outward elbow with your left hand as your right hand is checking on top. Then we're going to turn around and sink into a horse stance or a neutral bow. As we check on top with the left hand, we're going to do a right outward elbow. Let's take this from top. We're going to check, clear, go up, turn, elbow, and elbow. Let's take this from a different angle. We're going to go up, check, step in with the right leg, spin, turn, and shoot the elbow strike with the left hand. And we're going to check with the left and shoot a right elbow strike. One more time, we're going up. One, two, and three. Come up, master. Okay. Now, the, the uh, different ways, if he's grabbing from front, okay, first of all, as soon as he goes for the fingers to grab, you want to shoot your arm up and you, come, uh, you want to come, uh, come around here and do an extended outward and clear that. Now, when you shoot the arms up and you clear, your right hand here is checking his left also. See how your arm goes straight? So, and at the same time, we want to uh, step through that knee and buckle it. We're going to shoot up, step, turn, elbow, turn, elbow. One more time. I'm going to go up, clear, one, and two. Let's take it from this side. Now, this time, I want to show you that if he's grabbing from the side to control you, so if he's stepping and walking this way, we're going to go with him. And we're going to come around and clear. And turn with the elbow one. And check two. Let's take it again. This time we grab him from the side. I'm going to grab my fingers. I'm going to go with him. Clear. Turn. Elbow one. And two. Okay, now let's do it a little bit faster. Yes, And try it again. Come up. Yes, yes. Now let's take it from this angle. This time I want you to grab it from front. We'll go in one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right again. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. This technique is called evading the storm. It's for a right overhead club attack. Now the attack is coming from 12 o'clock. I'm going to take his step with my left leg towards 10 o'clock as I shoot a right upward block to protect my head. Now, as I step off and shoot the upward block, I'm going to come around with my right hand, either check outside of his right hand or grab it. Now, right from here, as I grab or check with my right leg, I'm going to throw a roundhouse kick to the groin or to the midsection. I'm going to plant forward into a right neutral bow facing my opponent. And I'm going to drop into a right forward bow as I shoot a reverse punch, either a vertical or straight, and it could be either to the ribs or to the kidney. Now, from here, I'm going to shoot a straight knee with the left leg. I'm going to shoot a left straight knee, and I'm going to go outside of his right thigh. And when I shoot the knee, I'm going to go through. It's not a knee strike that you're going to plant back. You're going to strike with the knee, go through. As you plant forward and moving his leg out of the way, with the right leg, you're going to come and shoot a right round his knee in front of his thigh and take his leg out of the way this way. Let's go over that again. I'm going to step off to 10, do a right upward block, check the arm, round his kick, plant forward, reverse spine to the kidney. Now from here, straight left knee, side of the thigh, plant forward and a right round his knee in front of the thigh. Let's take it from a uh, different angle. I'm going to go to the side. One, kick, plant, re reverse punch, straight knee and a round his knee. One more time. Step off, right upward block, right round his kick to the midsection, plant forward, check his knee, reverse punch to the ribs or kidney, straight left knee side of the thigh and right round his knee in front of the thigh. Now, uh, this is a right overhead club attack coming from 12 o'clock. Now, when we step off to 10 o'clock, I'm going to shoot the block, right upward block. 
Now, as I check, I'm going to throw the roundhouse kick, and I'm going to plant forward, check his knee. Now, as I plant forward, also checking his arm, I'm going to shoot a reverse punch to the kidney. Now, from here, I'm going to shoot the left straight knee to the side of his right thigh, and then as I do this, I'm going to move his leg out of the way by striking. I'm going to plant forward. I'm going to shoot a right round his knee in front of his thigh and move it also out of the way. Now, let's take this from the top. So we're going one, two, three. Knee strike and knee strike, going right through. Let's take it from a different angle. We'll go off to the side, block one, kick, plant forward, check his knee, reverse punch. Knee strike and knee strike, okay? Let's try that again one more time. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, let's take this a little bit faster. Okay, let's take it from a different angle. This technique is called charging ram. It's for somebody doing a front tackle on you. Now we're going to uh, start from a right fighting stance. Now from here, when the front tackle is coming at you from 12 o'clock, we're going to take the left leg, go up the circle. As we go up the circle with the left leg towards 5 o'clock, 4.30, we're going to shoot a right outward, I'm sorry, it's going to be a left outward hand sword, side of the neck. Now, right from here, we're going to unwind and sink into a neutral ball, right neutral ball, as we shoot a right inward hand sword back of the neck. So we take it from here one more time, go up the circle with the left, and left outward hand sword, follow with the right inward hand sword. Now, from here, we're going to do a snap front kick to the ribs. It's going to be the uh, uh, left ribs, right from here. Now, right as soon as we throw the uh, right front kick to the ribs, we're going to plant in a twist stance, and we're going to shoot a left roundhouse kick to his face. And right from here, we're going to cross over and out towards 2 o'clock. Okay, one more time. From here, we're going to go up the circle, outward hand sword, follow with the inward hand sword, right front kick to the left ribs, and a left roundhouse kick to the face, and cross out. Okay, let's take it from a different angle. From a fighting stance, up the circle, outward hand sword, Follow with the inward hand sword. Front kick to the ribs, round hook kick to the face, and cross out. And one more time. One, two, three, four, and cross out. Master, come up, please. <clears throat> From a fighting stance, now he comes to the uh, front tackle. What you want to do with the first strike, you want to get out of the line of attack and use that outward hand sword to redirect him. And then you want to stop his motion, stop his momentum with the uh, hand sword back of the neck. Now, if you hit the spine right here, back of the neck, what's going to do is uh, you're going to lose feeling in your legs. Okay, now from here, we're going to take it from top. We're going to step off. One, two. Then we're going to do a front kick to the ribs. Now, right from the front kick to the ribs, we're going to plant and round his kick to the face and cross out. Let's take this one more time. Come in. One, two, three, and four. Let's take it from a different angle. A charging. One, two. Kick to the ribs and to the face. We'll cross out. One more time. One, two, three, four. And cross out. Now let's do this a little bit faster. 
Yes, sir. Okay, one more time. Yes, sir. Sir. And cross out. Let's take it from the other angle. Yes, sir. Sir. One more time. Yes, sir. Sir. This technique is called parting wings. It's uh, for a two-hand high push. So your opponent is uh, facing you and it's 12 o'clock in front of you. Coming with a two-hand push, we're going to step back with the right leg into a left neutral bow. And at the same time, both hands are coming up to the center line and opening out and away in an extended outwards, double extended outwards open hand. And we're striking with the edge of the hand. So we're going to drop back into a left neutral bow and clear his arms out of the way. Now, from here, as soon as we do the first move, we're gonna drop into a left forward one, and the right hand is gonna slide down to the ribs. Okay, now, your left hand is coming up uh, in, a, in position for the next strike. Now, from a forward bow, after you've done your heel palm to the ribs, we're gonna go back into a neutral bow as you do a left outward hand sword to the throat. And from this position, we're gonna drop the left hand on his body to check and we're gonna go back into the left forward bow, do a vertical punch to the chest. Ended up in a forward bow. Let's take this again. So from feet together, we're gonna to sink back with the right leg, left neutral bow. As we do our extended outward blocks, catching him inside the arms. We're gonna to go to a forward bow and slide the heel palm down to the ribs. And as your left hand come up in position for the next strike, going into the neutral bow, doing an outward hand sword. And from this position, we're gonna check his body Go with the vertical reverse punch, right vertical reverse punch to the midsection, to his chest. Now let's take it from a different angle. We're going to drop back, clear arms out of the way, forward bow, heel palm, back to the neutral, outward hand sword, check on his body, <laughs> vertical punch. One more time. We'll go one, and two, and three, and four on top. Okay, Master, come up, please. Now, when he makes the two-hand push, we're going to drop back, clear the arms out of the way, and as soon as we do this, your right hand is tracking, it's going to slide right underneath to the ribs and stop his momentum from coming in. So we're going to open him up and stop him from coming in with the heel palm to the ribs. Then from here, we're going to go to the neutral, chop to the throat. As we do the outward hand, so we're going to let that hand drop and check his body as we shoot the reverse punch to the chest, okay? Take this again, two hand push, go one, slide it underneath two, and chop. Three, check, and reverse punch to a forward bow. Let's take it from a different angle. So it comes with a two hand push, go one, and two, three, and four. One more time. Comes in with a push, check, heel palm, chop to the throat, and reverse punch. Now we're gonna do this a little bit faster. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let's take it from a different angle. Yes, sir. Okay, one more time. Yes, sir. This technique is called thundering hammer. Now, one of the things that you need to concentrate on this technique is, as we're striking with our hands on top, it's not only a stance change down low with the legs, there's gonna be striking with the knees also. We're gonna use our closed kneel and reverse closed kneel
strikes and your upper body and lower body, you've got to work together and the timing has to be perfect. Now, this is uh, designed for a straight right punch coming at you. We're going to step forward with the left leg, go into 10 o'clock, and we're going to go into a left neutral ball as we do a left inward block outside of his right punch. Now, the next move, as we shuffle up, we're going to shuffle up from a left neutral ball into a left closed knee, and we're going to strike him side of his right knee. So we're going to block his punch, and as we shuffle forward into a closed knee to strike the side of his knee, your whole body is ch turning counterclockwise, and your right forearm is going to catch him upward, diagonal coming up to the midsection. And what you want to do, you want to also be able to come in this way, having this angle, and then as you strike, straighten up the arm to lift up your opponent. So now, as we step forward and do the block, we're going to shuffle up into the closed knee. As the body turns and your left hand is going up above your head, and we strike to the midsection, and we strike with the knee. Now from here, we're going to drop into a reverse closed knee as we strike back of the knee or to the calf muscle. And at the same time, we're going to rotate our upper body clockwise and strike with the left hammer fist to his, right, to his left kidney. Now from this position, your right hand is coming up above your head. As your left hand turns into a check, we're going to go back to our closed knee, left closed knee, and we're going to drop the right hammer fist back of the neck. Now from this stance, we're going to step off. We're not stepping back. Remember, we're going to step off and shoot a back knuckle side of his face. We're going to time that as we step off. We're going to sink and shoot the back knuckle side of the face. And then we're going to shuffle forward and we're going to go with the claw to his face. As we do the claw, we're going to rip and cross out. We're going to do this in a different angle. We're going to step forward, block. We're going to shuffle up into a closed knee, strike with the left knee, with the right knee. Now we're going to turn, strike with the left. As we strike with the left hammer fist to the kidney. Then we're going to turn into a closed knee again, strike with the right knee. As we check with the left hand, hammer fist back of the neck. We're going to step off, back knuckle side of the face, and shuffle forward, claw to the face. And we're going to rip, cross out. Master, come up, please. Uh, put your right leg forward. The strikes that I'm talking about is when we come in from a neutral ball, we're going to strike side of the knee, then the next strike is going to be back of the knee, and the next one is going to be to the calf muscle, and we're going to keep dropping him down. I'm going to ch check his height zone. Now, one more time. The strike is going to be side of the knee. We're going to drop it back of the knee, and then back, back of, to the calf muscle. Now we're going to do this with the hand strikes on top. Here comes the right punch, step off, block. Now as I shuffle and strike side of the knee, this hand is going to strike up to his midsection, lift him up. Now from here, I'm going to go back to a reverse closed knee, catch him back of the knee as I strike to the kidney. And the right hand continues to come up. And then when I check his hand here, I'm going to turn, hit him back of the neck, and go to a closed knee again. Then I'm going to step off back knuckle and go to the claw, catch his face, and rip on my way out. Okay, let's try this again. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, step off, five, shuffle claw, rip, and six. Let's take it from a different angle. So we come in one, two, three, and four, step off, five, shuffle, six, and cross out, rip. One more time. Two, three, four, five, and six. Cross out. Now, let's do this a little bit faster. Move up a little bit. Yes, sir. Yeah. One more time. Yes, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. Let's take it from a different angle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
This technique is called squeezing the peach. It's for a uh, bear hug from behind with arms pinned. Now, we're going to uh, take a step back with the left leg. We're going to go step back towards 5 o'clock and go inside his right knee and buckle his right knee. Now, at the same time, we're going to use our right hand to check his hands. And as we step back with the left towards 5 o'clock to buckle, we're going to strike with our left hand to the groin with the heel palm. Strike to the groin. Now, from this point, as we strike to the groin, we're going to grab and squeeze. Now, from 5 o'clock with the left leg, we're going to step towards 12 o'clock, and we're going to bring our opponent with us. We're going to bring him with us. Now, right from here, we're going to, uh, with the right leg, we're going to scoop the groin. As we scoop the uh, groin, we, in a circle motion coming up, we're going to complete the circle and buckle. This time, inside the left knee, we're going to go towards 8 o'clock. Now, from here... We're in a uh, reverse bow facing 8 o'clock. After we buckle, f f right after we buckle, we're going to drop into a neutral bow and shoot a right outward hand sword to the face. Let's take this again. We're going to step off here, buckle inside the right knee with the left leg. Strike to the groin, grab, step up to 12, scoop the groin, and with the right leg, buckle the right knee this time. And we're going to go with the outward elbow. Okay, let's take it from a different angle. Angle off, buckle inside the knee, strike to the groin, grab and step up, bring him with us, scoop the groin and buckle the other knee and shoot a right outward uh, elbow. One more time, drop back, one, grab, step forward, scoop, buckle, two, and strike with the elbow. Master, come up please. Okay. Bear hug from behind. Now. When we check, we're going to step, we're going to buckle inside the knee. As we buckle, we're going to strike to the groin and grab. Now, when we grab, we're going to take him with us as we step to 12. Right from here, we're going to scoop. As we scoop the groin, we're going to buckle and strike with the elbow right as soon as we buckle. One more time. Step to five. Buckle the knee. Strike to the groin. Bring him with us. Scoop and buckle and elbow. Let's take this from this angle. Drop one. Grab, bring him with us. Two, scoop, a buckle, and elbow strike. Try it again. We're gonna go one, grab, two, scoop, buckle, and three. Okay, now we take it from this angle. We're gonna speed up a little bit. Yes, yeah! Yes, one time. Back. Yes, 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 yes. Take it from this angle. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And one more time. Yes, yes, yes. yes. This technique is called circling wing. Now it's for a uh, choke from behind. It's time when your opponent is choking you, he could, he could be pushing you also. Now I'm gonna uh, turn around and take that as my 12 o'clock. When they're choking and pushing, I'm gonna step with my left leg towards one o'clock. And now from here, I'm gonna circle my wing right over his arm and I'm gonna turn into a forward bow. I'm gonna be in a right forward bow and do a left eye poke strike, two finger eye poke strike. Then I'm gonna check his arm down into his body. From forward bow, I'm gonna sink into a neutral bow as I come up with the right upward elbow underneath his chin. And then from here, I'm gonna continue my motion going into a reverse bow as I shoot the hammer fist to the groin. So we're gonna go over three stances, from forward bow to neutral and then reverse. Let's take this again. So from 12 o'clock, 
We're going to step towards 1 o'clock, turn into a right forward road. Now I'm facing 7 o'clock. Eye poke, left eye poke strike. I'm going to check, come up with the upward elbow, and from this move, from forward, I go to a neutral. And then from neutral bow, I'm going to sink into a reverse bow as I do a right hammer fist strike to the groin. And one more time. We'll go one, two, and three. Okay, now let's take this from a different angle. I'm going to step in. One, two, and three. And one more time. I'm going to step forward, turn. One, two, and three. Okay. Come on, Matsu. Okay, let's say uh, we're at this angle. Right. Now, when he choke, if he's pushing, so then you have to step forward and turn. Circle your arm over his hand, and yeah. you're going to go eye poke. Then, as you check his arm down, check it down and into his body. Okay, so from here again, we're going to check the arm down and into his body, and at the same time, we're going to sink into a neutral and come up with the upward elbow. And we're going to continue our motion, go to a reverse bow, as we shoot the hammer fist to the groin. Okay, let's take this again. We're going to go up, circle the wing, eye poke, elbow up, and hammer fist to the groin. Now let's take it from a different angle. Go, take it from here. Okay. We're going to step, turn, catch the eye, check, come up, and hammer fist to the groin. And one more time. Go one, two, and three. Okay. Now let's speed up a little bit. Yes, yes. Yes, yeah. We're going to take it from the other side. Yes, yeah. And one more time. Yes, yeah. This technique is called calming the storm. It's for a uh, club attack, and it's for a roundhouse club attack with the right hand coming around this way. Now, we're going to uh, be in a tension stance. We're going to step in with our right leg into a right neutral bow. As we step in and around, we're going to come up and strike with the right hand, vertical punch to the face. As your left hand, like an extended outward block, is going to do an, it's going to do an outward block and catch, the, uh, catch inside his wrist. So now, what I want you to do is try and put the same amount of speed and power on both strikes, both with your block and also the right vertical punch to the face. And instead of shooting him off to your shoulder, you like to shoot it right off your center line. So we're going to step. As we strike, we're going to come up, block inside the wrist, and catch the face. Now, from here, we're going to drop the check, not only on his arm, we're going to drop the check into his body to make sure that his upper body is going to turn and it's going to be squared squared off facing us for the next strike, which you're going to go into a right forward bow, shoot a left vertical punch to the chest. Now, as you shoot your left vertical punch to the face, you're going to go back to your neutral from your forward. As you go back to your neutral, your left hand is going to check, use your Chinese check waiter's block here, and we're going to do a right back, back knuckle to the ribs. Okay, we're going to take this from the top, step in, one, check, two, and three. Now, let me do this from a different angle. From here, we're going to step in with the right leg, strike up, check. As we check, we're going to go to a forward bow, vertical punch to the chest, back to a neutral, right outward, back knuckle strike to the ribs. And one more time, we're going to go on one, two, and three. Okay, come up, Master. Bring the club with you. Okay. Now, 
When he does the uh, club attack, Roundhouse, I'm going to step in. As I step in, I'm going to shoot right off my center line, blocking his arm and catching his face. Now, from here, since his body, if it's turned a little bit this way, what we want to do is drop this check to his shoulder and to the arm to kind of turn him around and make him squirt off and use this check across his body as we go to a vertical punch to the chest and we're going to go back to our neutral ball as we check and shoot the back knuckle to the ribs. Okay. Also, one thing that I want you to be concerned is if somebody coming at you with a club attack, you really don't want to catch him when he has come up and he's already completing his circle. Okay. If, if you can't, you got to catch him as he starts to swing. Boom. Stop his mo momentum right there before he starts to build some momentum. So move up a little bit. Let's try this again. He comes in. We're going to block. Then we're going to check the upper body as he goes with the vertical punch. <laughs> and we're going to catch him with the back knuckle. Let's take it from a different angle. So he comes with the roundhouse club. We're going one, check. And we go two, back knuckle, three. And one more time. One and one, two, and three. Now let's take this a little bit faster. Yes, sir! time. Yes, sir. Take it from the other angle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This technique is called darting mace. It's for a wrist grab. Now your opponent's right hand is grabbing your right wrist. Now, what we're going to do here as we step forward with the left leg, and we're going to step forward towards 10 o'clock and sink into a left neutral ball, as your right hand is going to counter and get around his wrist, counter grab. Now, as we use, we're going to shoot a vertical punch, left vertical punch to the, chest, uh, to the face. But as we start, the vertical punch, we can use our forearm and catch his elbow on the way. Your primary target is going to be his face, but you like to catch his elbow with your forearm on the way going up to his face with a vertical punch. Now from here, we're going to drop the left hand to check, check the upper body and turn him around, set him up for the next strike, which is going to be your right vertical punch to the chest. Now from here, we're going to do an upward hand sword going to the throat with the left hand. At the same time, we're going to shoot a knee to the midsection. Now, right after you shoot the hand sword to the throat and the knee to the midsection, you're going to continue your move to step through with the right leg as you check to the body. Check the body with your left hand, and we're going to go right heel palm to the face. Now, on that third and fourth strike, there's going to be a quarter timing. So if you're going on four counts, we're going to go one, two, three, four. So now when we go one, counter grab strike, two, and then from here, we're knee and hand sword to the throat and check heel palm. And I'm going to do this from a different angle. I'm going to step in, counter grab, catch the elbow, one, to the face, check forward bow to the body, we'll go with the knee and chop to the throat, then step through heel palm. One more time, we're going to go one, two, three, and four. Okay, come up, Master. Okay, move up a little bit. Let's put a uh, wrist grab. Now, as we counter it, we're going to use that forearm, catch the elbow, but we're going to let it slide up to a vertical point to the chest. Now, we're going to check him here to set him up for this vertical punch going to the chest. Now, here is the quarter timing when we go one, two. Okay. Now, let me show you this movement here. From here, when we strike, as it comes up, now your weapon is just going to come up and ride his body as we go to the throat. Now, at the same time, we're going to strike with the knee. Now, right from here, let this strike drop. And as you drop this check, you're going to heel palm, and you're kind of stretching him here. Okay? This is going to be done very fast, but you could still get the strike in there and do it properly. Now, from here, we're going to go one, 
two, three, four. Let's take it from the other side. One, check. Two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Now, when you do this fast, if you, instead of going to the throat and to his face, I'm just going to strike to the body so you, you see what I'm talking about with the uh, quarter timing. From here, if I was to knee and the chop and then strike with the heel palm again, from here it's going to go one, two. So from here, as we strike to the throat, right back with the heel palm. Three, four. Okay. Now, let's take this a little bit fast now from top. Yes, yes, Okay, I'm going to take the other side. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This technique is called hooking wings, and it's for a uh, two-hand low push. Now, your opponent is in front of you coming with a two-hand low push. We're going to step back with the left leg into a right neutral bow. Now, at the same time that we drop back, right away we want to use our crane and strike the thumb. If there's a two-hand push coming at you and the thumbs are exposed out, you want to strike and use the crane and catch his thumbs and push his arms out. Now, at the same time, you want to make sure your right leg is going to shoot straight to the midsection, either to the groin or to the stomach. To stop, from, uh, to stop his momentum from coming in. So we're going to sink back. As we sink back and use the crane, we're going to kick right to the midsection. As we plant, at right at the same time that our right leg is going to plant, this right hand, when we crane, it's not going to stop. It's going to crane down and come around with the hammer fist bridge of the nose. So we're going to drop back, crane, kick, come around with the hammer fist, cross the face. Now, as soon as the hammer fist hits the back knuckle, going to shoot right around, catching him. So we're using a figure eight action here. Catch him one side of the face and go to the other side. Now right from here, we're going to shuffle up and catch him with an upward elbow coming underneath his chin. And then we're going to sink the with the claw, striking with the bridge of the nose and tear down with the fingers. Now let's take this from the top. Sink back to right neutral, but crane, kick, hammer fist, cross the face, back knuckle, shuffle with an upward elbow and claw down. Okay, now I'm going to take this from a different angle. I'm going to sink back, use the crane, kick, stop him, hammer fist, back knuckle, shuffle up with the elbow, and claw down. One more time. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. Come up, master. Now, when he comes with a two-hand push, okay, see the way his thumbs are sticking out here, I'm going to use the crane and I'm going to strike right the top of the thumb, right here, catch it right on the top. So now, when he pushes, as I use my crane, now right away, I want to kick to keep him off. Now, right after the kick, when I plant, the hammer fist is going to catch him across the face, and right as soon as it, hit, it hits, it's going to catch him to the other side. Then I'm going to shuffle with the elbow coming up and pow, sink the claw. Catch him, bridge of the nose, and tear down. Like, let's take this again. We're going to go one, two, three, four, and five. Let's take it from the other side. Coming with a two-hand push. Drop back, check, kick, hammer fist. Back knuckle, elbow up, and claw. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now we're going to take this a little bit faster. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Let's take it from the other side. 
This technique is called shield and sword. It's for a step through, uh, straight left punch coming at you from 12 o'clock. Now your first step is going to be right leg stepping towards 1 one thirty, and I want you to go into a right forward go facing 1 o'clock 1 thirty. So now as we step with the right leg, we're going to do an inward parry, right inward parry, into a left outward parry. Now right from here we're going to check him. Now, when you do a right inward parry, your left hand could be an extended outward, open hand check with the outside. So we're going one, two. Now, being in a forward bow from here, clearing outside of his arm, we're going to turn and sink into a neutral bow as the right hand shoots in, hand sword right back of his neck. Now, as soon as you sink into this stance and you strike with the sword, we're going to drop back into the forward bow and we're going to let the right hand slip and check as we turn the elbow strike, left inward elbow strike to the ribs, being in a forward ball. Now from here, we're going to go up the circle with our back leg. As we go up the circle, we're going to let that left hand snake around over his arm to keep checking. And then we're going to unwind here into a neutral ball. Now we're going to be facing 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. As we unwind into a neutral ball, your right hand is going to middle knuckle strike to the kidney. Now, right at this, as soon as we strike to the kidney with the right hand, we're going to right round husky to the other kidney, to, which is actually his right kidney. And then we're going to cross out. Now, let's take this again. Here comes a punch from 12. We're going to step off towards 130, inward parry into an extended outward strike block here. Now, we're going to sink into a neutral, catch him with the chop, and we're going to go to a forward bow, catch him with the elbow strike to the ribs. We're going to snake around his arm, and go up the circle as we unwind. We're going to catch his left kidney and we're going to round his kick the right kidney and we'll cross out. Let's take it from this angle. So step off here, go into the side, go to a neutral, catch him with the chop and the elbow strike to the ribs. Go up the arm, check it, go up the circle with your back leg, unwind, catch the kidney and we're going to round his kick the other kidney. Okay? Master, come up, please. Now, let's just take this angle coming from 12. Now, we're going to inward parry and extend it outward block here. There's your shield right here, and then we're going to come with the sword. Okay, now, the way I want you to deal with this punch is if he's coming with the punch and you just want to step off and go this way and just make him miss you. So now, right from here, as you make him miss, then you're going to turn with the hand sword and right away you're going to slip the elbow in. Now we're going to let this hand go snick right on top. As we unwind, we're going to catch this kidney. And right away we're going to round his kick the other kidney. Let's take this again. We're going to take it from a different angle here. Now we're going to go one, two. All right, this block, it could be done only with the left hand and just positioning your right hand for the next strike. But I think it's more safe and your right hand checking coming in first is kind of like an insurance for you. So when you step up, check with the right and then strike with the left and then inward, slip the elbow, go up the circle, check, catch this kidney and you round his hit the other one. Okay, now we're gonna take this thing a little bit faster. Yeah. Yes, yes, Let's take it from a different angle. Take it from top here. Let's face me. There you go.
This technique is called gift and return. Now, the gift is the hand is given to you. It's off of a handshake. It could be off of a, uh, for a uh, wrist grab also that you could counter grab his wrist and then return the gift to him. Now, from the handshake, we're going to take it from the handshake. Okay, now, we're going to control the wrist. As we strike the wrist, we're going to step with the left leg into a left neutral ball. We're going to check his arm out a little bit to control his right hand. I'm sorry, in this case, control his left hand. Now, from here, we're going to sink into a closed knee. As we sink into a closed knee, the left hand is going to check his right knee, and we're going to shoot his arm right between his legs, and we're going to hit him to the groin. We're going to strike his groin with his, with his own forearm. Now, we've got to sh shoot it in deep, so we're going to have to sink low using that kneel stance. Now, we go around his leg and grab his wrist, and we're going to take the back leg, go up the circle. As we go up the circle, we're going to pull and snap his elbow against his own right leg. Now, from here, that's going to turn him around a little bit. We're going to strike with the uh, right side kick, back of his left knee. And as we plant, we're going to shoot a left knee to the tailbone. Okay, we're going to take this from the top, go into a closed knee, from neutral, sink into a closed knee. As we check, shoot the arm right between his legs, grab his wrist, step around, pull, snap the elbow, and kick back of his knee, side kick, and a left knee to the tailbone. Let's take it from this side. So we're going to go in one, shoot right between his legs, grab, step around, and pull. Then we're going to side kick and knee strike. And one more time. One, step around, two, grab, pull, kick, and a knee strike. Okay, come up, master. Good. Now, if, if this was off of a handshake, we would work the wrist this way to control the other hand, and then we could strike on top of it as we go to the check. And we're going to sink into a kneel stance. Now, you want to use his own forearm and shoot it and catch him right between the legs, this way. Okay, now, if, if this was a wrist grab, then we could counter, counter grab and shoot between his legs. Okay, now, let's take it off of a handshake when we do this one, Control and two. When we shoot this deep, we're going to grab his wrist. And when I step around, I'm going to pull. I'm going to put pressure on his elbow using his leg as I pull this way. Also to turn him around. Right away, I'm going to kick back of his knee. And as soon as I kick, I'm going to plant and shoot a knee to the tailbone. Okay, let's take this from the top one more time. Okay. We're going to go in one, check, and shoot. Grab and pull, snap his elbow. Take his knee and knee to the tailbone. Okay, let's take it from a different angle. <clears throat> Going in one, step around, pull, two, kick, and the knee strike. Okay, now, uh, bring the chair for me. I'd like to show you something else. Now, let's say this would work in case you were sitting on a chair also. Let's say if I was sitting on a chair and he comes in front of me, Shaking my hand, he's going too hard or he's going to swing. So I'm going to step off and shoot right from there. So even if you're sitting down, you could start and apply this technique also. Now put this away from me, and we're going to do this technique a couple of times a bit faster. Come up. Good. And shake. It's there! It's there! And try it again. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Let's take it from a different angle. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! And one more time. Yes, sir! Yes, sir!
This technique is called bow of compulsion. And uh, if you're going to uh, strike with the heel pump, you're going to hit your opponent. And, or if you're going to be pushing him just to keep him off of you. And he happened to be uh, locking your wrist on his body okay, to put pressure to make you lean forward. And now we're going to take the technique right from there that your wrist is locked on his chest. Now, what I want you to do, we're going to uh, claw his face and we're going to come up and check his hands on top of your hand on his body. And as we do this, we're going to step in, we're going to drop the elbow right into his midsection. And we're going to shoot this elbow. As we shoot it in, we want to come up with it also. So we're going to step in with the right leg. We're going to go up one. Now we're going to clear down. As we clear down with the palm of the hand, we're going to strike his drawing also. And we're going to shoot this hand, outward hand sword to the throat to stretch him up and keep the upper body check. Now from here, if we're in a wide kneel stance, we're going to strike with the rich hand to the groin. As we hit to the groin, then we're going to sink into a closed kneel. And as we go to a closed kneel, we're going to circle this right back knuckle and catch inside his knee. It's going to be inside his left knee. Now from this right closed kneel stance, we're going to catch inside his left knee. Now we're going to reverse the circle and go to a figure eight as we're going to take the kneecap on the other side, which is going to be his right knee, and we're going to switch stance from a right closed kneel into a right reverse closed kneel and take the other knee. So we're going to be using a figure eight move right here. And on our way out, as I start to cross away from him, I'm going to shoot a back knuckle or an overhead claw to his face. Let's take this again. From here, we're going to go in one, elbow strike, two, three, four, five, and cross out with a claw or a back knuckle. Let me show it from a different angle. Okay, from here we're going to check his hands, claw and check. We're going to step in, drop the elbow, clear down, catching the groin, and hand sore to the throat, rich hand to the groin, run right from here, go to a closed knee, take the knee inside the left knee, and reverse closed knee, check the other knee, cross out with the back knuckle. Okay. Master, come up please. Okay, now let's uh, take it from this angle. Okay, now let's say I make you push and he pins my hand. Now as he pins, I'm going to claw and check. Now as I check, I'm going to drop the elbow in and up. I'm going to clear the groin down this way and at the same time, I'm going to do a sword strike here, hand sword, to stretch his stance. Now, from here, I'm going to go with the rich hand to the groin. Then I'm going to take this knee and into a closed knee and go to a reverse closed knee. Take the other knee, and then I'm going to cross out with the back knuckle. Now, one more time. I'm going to pin, sink in. One. Clear down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Use that figure eight here. And right from here, cross out with the back knuckle. Let's take it from a different angle from here. Going in one, clear down, two, three, four, five, cross out. Okay, now let's do this a little bit faster. Okay, one time. Let's take it from the other side. Yeah, one more time. This technique is called obstructing the storm. It's for an overhead club attack coming from 12 o'clock. 
Now we're going to step with the left leg towards 10 o'clock into a left neutral bow. This time we're going to use our cross block. And you're going to let your right hand go on top of your left as you shoot your double upward blocks and using this side for the cross block. Now you want to make sure that your blocks is going to go towards 12 o'clock towards the attack, but you want your upper body sliding out of the way. You don't want your blocks right above your head. So we step to 10 o'clock, get the body out of the way. We're going to strike right underneath the attack. Now from here, the right hand is going to control his wrist, right wrist, and the left hand is going to slide around. And we're going to use the forearm here to go into an inward block. And we're going to step with the left leg this time. We're going to go in front of him. So as we stepped out to 10 o'clock, 